What's going on everybody, Kasabi here today, and I just found the most insane logo in MLB The Show history. I'm just kidding. What's up everybody, sorry for the clickbait title. If you've already made it this far in the video, I wanted to announce something that's very special to me and I wanted to share it with you guys. I have been invited into the YouTube Partner Program. I hit a thousand subs a long time ago, I posted some Rocket League music on my channel, my channel kind of blew up. I don't make any profits off those videos, in fact that was why I was hesitant to apply for YouTube Partner in the first place because a lot of the content that my channel got that amassed the most views wasn't necessarily mine and going forward i am going to limit those videos from being monetized i don't own that content i shouldn't have any right to profit it off of it although as some of you might know i've been making mlb the show content for quite some time i've been doing logo tips logo speed runs more recently create a stadium and it's getting to the point now where i feel like i'm starting to get a bit of a audience that represents where my channel is also kind of at my intention for making videos is never about making money or anything like that, but now that more eyes are on it, I just thought as long as I'm making some content that is getting some views, I might as well take a little bit of advantage of it. I have no idea what the YouTube Partner Program is going to be offering me in terms of like a payout or anything. I'm definitely not at the point where it's going to be like a career or anything like that. And my goal is still about kind of showing off the creations I've made and helping out the community with tip videos, instructional things about creative stadium logos, whatever you guys prefer. Like honestly, like some of this I'm doing for me and some of it I just want to help out the community. It's why I made the Reddit communities for MLB The Show logos and I didn't actually create the other one but I'm very involved and I am a moderator of MLB The Show stadiums. So yeah, essentially I got accepted into the partner program. I can monetize some of my videos. That's not my end goal but I just thought like, you know, as long as I'm posting content let my videos do some work for me in some way. That's really all I wanted to announce with this video. I didn't mean to do any clickbait. I don't really mean to make this about me or, you know, my accomplishments or anything like that. Mostly I just wanted to share with you guys that going forward, if you watch a couple of my tip videos, there might be a couple of ads that might be running on them. That's about it. I would very much be okay with taking my channel and kind of using it to promote the community here in the future, if anything. I've been noticing a trend with similar creators like M.Frisk. That guy is just so generous. Like he features a lot of stuff, including my stadiums on his channel. He actively gives out Elgato gear to streamers that he thinks could use a little bit of a bump in quality because their content is so good. And that's where I kind of want to be too, eventually, I guess. I don't think I'll be handing out technology, but in a way, like, I just want to kind of grow a community. The MLB The Show community is now twice as large now that Xbox is out, Switch is probably going to be coming soon, and the player base and really the fan base of baseball in general is really growing over these last few years. I started making logos for MLB The Show back in 2014 just for fun. I mean, I was just making logos for Black Ops 2, and then there was something similar in MLB The Show, and I just kept at it. I kept making logos. It got to the point where I started making them for other people. After that, I wanted to kind of create a place where everybody could kind of show off their designs. Here we are today. MLB The Show Logos has almost 3,500 subscribers. The Stadium subreddit has almost 2,000 subscribers. I like making videos like the Sandlot one. I thought it was pretty cool how it was featured on John Boy Media and MLB on Fox, but that wasn't my goal when I made it. I just like making cool stadiums like that and really just I want you guys to use the creations that I made. I get a lot of satisfaction when people tell me they use my logos or my stadiums and they get enjoyment out of it. I'm not out here trying to say I'm the best logo creator. I'm not trying to prove to somebody that I'm better than them. Really, I'm just happy the community is growing and I want to do my part in growing it further. I want to inspire other people to start making logos and stadiums and get themselves featured and get that same satisfaction that I feel. It's really rewarding. I mean, it, it really hits you right here to see the outreach that sometimes you have within the community. And I'm not doing it for any kind of personal gain or financial gain. like. Yeah, I do commissions for logos in my spare time because I have to support myself, but I do want to be transparent with you guys. And that's why I made this video, just to tell you that I'm a part of the partner program. It's not going to affect any of the quality of my work going forward, but rather it's kind of incentivizing me to keep making content. 
and make it more frequently. So yeah, I thought it'd be funny to make this video as close to 10 minutes in one second as I could. And I'm sorry about the clickbait again, but I wanna take the rest of this time to kind of shout out some other creators in the community. Some other creators that I'm starting to have a personal connection to or that I just see in the community and I really think you guys should check out their work. So again, I've already mentioned m.frisk. Here's the link to his channel and social media pages. He does Road to the Show, Franchise, and more recently he's been doing his part in shouting out a ton of people for their created stadiums. If you want to find the latest and greatest stadiums or if you want to maybe contact him and show off a stadium that you made, this is your guy, this is the avenue to take. I'd be remiss if I didn't shout out Spagoo. As you can kind of see, I have the little setup here with my face and the little rotating thing. He made that for me. He also makes a ton of great logos for MLB The Show and more recently stadiums. In fact, I think Spagoo's probably been one of the most prolific stadium creators to date since the game came out. Check him out on Twitter and Reddit. Over the last couple months, I met this guy who made player faces for MLB The Show. His name is Dr. Sublime. He and one of his friends, Deuce Monkey, they created the player faces for that Sandlot video I made. I think a large part of the reason that video blew up is just because the player likenesses were so good. There's a lot of customization options you can do in MLB The Show. I've been over logos, I've been over stadiums. The one thing that I've never been very good at is player faces. That is just something else completely entirely different and they do some amazing work. There's also a lot of dedicated people out there who make rosters for triple A, double A, basically the entire minor league rosters. There's some people that go back and create old rosters from historical point in time. I also want to shout out though Bacon who makes the fictional rosters for MLB The Show. Some of the rosters got lost since we went to next gen and they don't have year to year saves but Bacon's doing it all over again. He has an entire roster of fictional players that don't exist. He does all of their names, likenesses, attributes, the whole nine yards. He even goes in and adds year to year stats for them. So if you were to like take that roster and start a new franchise with it, these guys will actually have stats for four or five, six seasons. It's really incredibly detailed for a lot of players who don't exist. And honestly, those are my favorite franchises to play, is to find players who don't actually exist and you grow them, you develop them, you get to see how their career pans out. Another stadium creator that I've been very impressed with the work that they've put out is Captain Tater Tot. You might've seen him make the Hogwarts one. You might've seen him make the Avengers Stadium. This guy is literally doing a stadium a day ever since I started following him. It's incredible how prolific he is with the stadiums. I know I'm kind of back and forth between logos and stadiums, but if you want to watch somebody who more or less creates stadiums every single day and you want to get the best lowdown of like how it works, how to build a stadium yourself, watch this guy. He's very good at it and he does it quite a bit. There's a whole bunch of other logo creators that I'd like to shout out to, but there's too many to name. For that, I have a master post of all the people who are currently doing logo work on Reddit. I have the link to that in the description of this video. Please, please go check them out. There are so many other logo artists who put their time and effort into making extremely detailed logos. And honestly, the MLB community is going to the moon right now. There's just so much opportunity here. That's part of the reason I applied for YouTube partner at the moment I did. It's a very critical moment in MLB The Show's kind of history where there's just so much ripe opportunity for everybody to reach out and take it and it's forcing me to make more content. And like I said, there's plenty of people out there who are already on the doorstep of making a name for themselves. I also want to inspire new people to be that next content creator. I want to give them the tools to set them up for success to be a logo artist or a stadium creator. And yes, eventually I do want to dive into franchise and maybe get something like that going too. Franchise is something that I've been playing for decades. It's the most interesting mode for me ever since I was a kid. So yeah, that's where we're at as a channel. But just going forward, again, probably see a couple ads here or there for my content. Nothing to worry about. I am committed to being as educational as I can for the community and trying to, as best as I can, kind of describe how I build things. Logos, stadiums. I, I want to be 
as transparent as possible with everybody. So if you stuck through the entire video, I very much appreciate it. You might still see my face and a couple other things in the thumbnails. I promise you it's not meant to be clickbait going forward. I just don't like my thumbnails being boring, like one of the pre-generated ones that the video automatically does for you. As always, if there's anything that you'd like to see out of me, some stadiums that you want me to create, some logos you want me to create, even video ideas, let me know in the comments section what you would like to see. In the meantime, I'll be starting to crank out some more informational videos, stadiums, logos, you name it. Thanks again for watching. This is Kasabi signing off. We'll see you in the next video.